What is up guys, welcome to the new video. So this one's gonna be a little different in this front portion of it. So right now I'm at the gym and it's Friday. I'm gonna get a, what is it, a shoulder and bicep workout in. And I'm gonna take you guys through like the entire workout. I'm here by myself so I got my tripod set up right now. And I'm just gonna go through and kind of talk to you guys about what I'm doing and you know how I go through these movements, how I do these exercises, if I do supersets, blah, blah, blah. So I'll go through all that with you guys. But first, before any workout, I have to take my pre-workout. So I'm starting off with uh, the Ghost pre-workout. This is the Blue Raspberry. And now recently, I've actually been mixing this with the Rehydrate. It's Advocare. And it's just, it's really good. And it's just good to have the hydration too to add on to the pre-workout. But since I'm already here and haven't taken it yet, I'm gonna take it how I used to take it, or I still do, just haven't the last few times, which is just, Put the scoop in your mouth basically so put the water in first so you put the water in first pre-workout after swish it around it makes it kind of dissolve and then you're good this will usually hit this will hit me probably in like five minutes so I'm gonna kind of get myself situated and get ready to start the workout. Like I said, shoulders and biceps. Normally I'd start off with like a military press, but I'm just gonna go through four different rounds of supersets for you guys. Three or four, I'll probably do four, depending on the time. But I'm gonna take you through them, talk to you about them, and then head over to the game tonight. So, hope you guys enjoy this workout. Okay, so the first superset I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna start off right here. Move that down. So I'm gonna be on the cables for most of this workout. And the first thing I'm going to do for the bicep movement is reverse grip uh, bicep curl. So just hands like this, just reverse grip for what it normally would be. Just keep the elbows tucked in. You're going to come up, squeeze for about a second, go right back down. This is going to target more of your outer bicep. So, so most people, you know, you have a good inside bicep on each side. And then you actually have a, a part of your bicep right out here that you can help uh, or not help, but you can form and make it look a lot better by doing these reverse grip because it targets your outer bicep and it looks good too because it has like t it's two different muscles basically right there. So, and then after that, I'm gonna come here on this side, just the handle, hold on right here, and I'm gonna do a side lateral like this, ten reps on each arm and then ten reps on the reverse grip um, bicep curl. I'm gonna do four sets of each, going back and forth nonstop. Okay, so just finished up those four sets, um, and I'm feeling good right now. Shoulders feeling good, arms are feeling good. Uh, next thing I'm going to be doing is going to be just a stationary uh, dumbbell shoulder raise, and then I'm going to be going with the easy bar, just doing some curls like this. I usually stay closer for these curls, and also you can, if you didn't have a straight bar for the cable, you can actually reverse grip on the easy bar. But I'm going to be going close grip about right here, going down, keeping the elbows tucked, coming up, squeeze. Back down and be doing 10 sets of, not 10 sets, 4 sets of 10 reps for it. Super set again, going back and forth. Now I stop till I finish uh, all 4 sets for each of them. And super sets are a great way to build endurance in your muscles, which also helps with muscle growth and strength gains. So, I mean, yes, going up to a 1 rep is awesome too. But for me, I feel like I make the most gains. My body's built to where going uh, high repetition, not really low weight, but good weight. Like I'm going to be doing 20s here. And then I have a 25 on each side for the easy bar curls. And I'll be doing 10 reps of each for four sets straight. So I'll be building that endurance, getting some muscle strength, uh, building some muscle, but also me getting the strength gains too at the same time. So I'm gonna jump into this superset right here, and then I'm gonna have two more after that to show you guys. So hope you guys have enjoyed so far. 
these uh, exercises are really good. I promise you guys you should definitely try them out. But I'm gonna jump into the superset real quick and I'll talk to you guys after for the next exercise. Ten reps, ten reps shoulder raise. Now I'm going straight to the easy bar curl. Ten reps. Take about 30 seconds to a minute rest. Go right back to it for another set. So that's one set down. We got three more to go. That super set just killed me, honestly. I literally was going back and forth. 30 seconds rest in between, and that just killed me. My shoulders are burning right now. That was a really good super set. Those two exercises together are really good because you're here working which again is your shoulders. When you come to your biceps, you still feel that squeeze in the lower part of your delts right here. So that was insane. Next thing I'm gonna be jumping into right here, I think I'm gonna be going into some Arnold's. So we Arnold presses, I'll be here. Start with your hands this, this way. You come up, you turn, but you just make your way to the top, come back down, one rep. 10 reps right there. Then for biceps, you're gonna be doing a single arm hammer curl, so be here. Keeping the wrist straight like this, coming back down. That's one, two, doing 16 reps total, but eight reps each arm. So one, two, count to 16, or you can do one, one, two, two, and that'll be going your way up to eight. So really, really, really feeling good right now. Got a good pump going, you know, just, just some slight work right now. Just a really good workout. I love doing shoulders and biceps together. Two great uh, muscles to work together, in my opinion. So, I'm gonna jump into this next superset, and again, talk to you guys afterwards. Put in that work right now. Finish up the arms, straight to hammer curl, 15 for the About to finish up the workout, got one more super set left. We're we'll doing line curls, which we'll see in a second. Gonna be laying down on the ground. So this is the ground behind me. I'm laying on the ground like this, and you just curl. So line curls, learn that one from my man JP Fatigue. He uh, runs his own fitness channel on Instagram though. So go check him out, jp.physique. He's really good, strength training coach. He's just awesome, he does what he's doing. And then afterwards, or after that, I'm gonna be going straight to an easy bar. Military press just like that, so check these clips out for the last super set. All right guys, workout's over. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Those are four supersets right there of two exercises each for just great exercises to build shoulder and bicep strength. Bicep peak, the main thing for bicep peak is when you're doing any type of curl, so instead of, so I'm doing a curl right here, if I flex my forearms to hold the bar up, it's gonna work more forearms and not gonna work as much bicep peak, but if you kinda let it relax a little bit and you start, you come up like that, it's gonna work on the bicep peak 
And then shoulders, all those exercises are great movements to work your shoulders to get the boulders, as people say. So really good workout overall. Um, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick physique update. So recently, had me on a workout for a while, as you guys know. Finally got back from working out. This is now my seventh day in a row working out. And I feel really good, actually. So just a quick physique. Do the obliques first. Double bicep. Back. A little chest action. Right bicep and chest. And then just core. I feel like my stomach is looking pretty good. I slimmed down a little bit, I'm trying to shred. Think about doing a physique show too, so more details on that in the future. See if it works out or not. Um, I feel good right now, so I'm about to change up, get ready to go to the game tonight. So hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely input some of those exercises into your daily routines, and I will talk to you guys either tonight or tomorrow. Down, foot. What's up guys, so um, the clips you're about to see is from uh, this morning, or this morning, this afternoon, going into the afternoon. Uh, me, Alden, and Austin Fuller just went and got a chest and back workout in. It was more focused on chest, doing four different, three different movements for chest, and two, then we just did two movements for back. But it was a high volume for the back, even though we only did two movements, doing six sets of each. And then for the chest, doing four sets of each. And that was my first time ever doing the close grip. So you start here, you go down, close grip, and then you do the fly. And that was really good, great way to really stretch out your chest and also get that good squeeze with the close grip. Um, but overall, just a really good workout. And those two guys are the guys that I'm going to the concert with this weekend. So that will be in the next video. I'm going to go throughout the rest of the day today and then edit up this video and then get that posted up tomorrow. But the concert's tomorrow night, so that'll be in the next video. So definitely come back and watch that one when it's posted up. That one should be posted up Tuesday. So um, just overall, this video, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, yesterday, went through that shoulder and bicep workout, went a little more in-depth with that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And then last night, it was the Sweet 16 our football, our football team went to. Unfortunately, we lost to Marietta. We were down 24 to nothing, ended up making a comeback, getting it 24-21, and then um, they ended up pulling away within the last like four minutes of the game, but great season. My high school football career is now over, which really sucks, but um, we the, the team played great this year, and overall, it was a really good season, so excited for that, even though you know it was the last high school football game. Didn't get to play, obviously, because of my knee, as you can see, my crutches back here, but um, I enjoyed standing on the sidelines, watching them, supporting them. They did really good. My boy Noah Frith, number one, he has like I think a total of 24 touchdowns this season, which is insane. He scored four last night, so he's insane. He's going to Liberty, so hopefully me and him will get to play against each other one day. Going to Furman. Um, overall, though, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get packed up real quick and then we'll get picked up to go to Florida for the concert. So hope you guys have enjoyed. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit.
Unfortunately, guys, I'm feeling a little under the weather today. Um, I, last night, it was a little cold at the game, but I mean, I was dressed warm enough, but just throughout the week, my throat's been hurting a little bit, and I woke up this morning, and my throat is killing me, so I got this thing completely filled with water, and I got two packets of vitamin C in here. I'm going to drink this up. Hopefully, it helps out a little bit. I'm on my way right now to CVS, though, to pick up some DayQuil and NyQuil. <clears throat> to take while I'm at the uh, concert and stuff tomorrow and tonight because I really don't want to get sick and not be able to go. So that's what I'm doing right now. And that should be getting picked up pretty soon. It's about three o'clock, so they'll probably leave in like 3.15, 3.30. So I guess I'll either see you in the car when I get to CVS or somewhere, but I'll just see you in the next clip. Don't hate it, you might get a scholarship. All right, guys, we made it to Tallahassee, Florida. Um, LH fell asleep, so I thought I'd finish off his video for him. He uh, said he hopes you like this video, and uh, like and subscribe for more.